Chrome Diggers here. So I'm going to go over one of our effective jigs that we like to use on uh, I don't know, any water really. Uh, real effective on the coastal waters that we've used it on. Uh, it's just pretty much a, an egg jig with a little rabbit fur. Um, I'll just kind of show you some of the materials we're using. Using some uh, rabbit zonker cuts here. Just real simple, nice cuts. I'm using this stuff right now from uh, Sportsman's Warehouse. You can probably pick this stuff up anywhere. I've just been having good luck. This is one of my local places here in town and have had decent products. Um, as far as the, the egg cluster goes, uh, I really like the, the X Factor Tackle, which is also out of here in Oregon. Great stuff. And then uh, today I'll be using a quarter ounce jig head um, this is something that we poured up so we're we'll using those today also be using a uh, just a, a simple red bead and that bead will actually be holding the this thread which is going to be threaded into the egg cluster here um, as far as the thread the threads just a cheap thread that I picked up at a, a craft store uh, thicker gauge, you know, nothing special, just just thick, thick line. And then for my main line, I'll be using a a black thread, um, just a, a generic. Again, also pick, picked it up at Sportsman's Warehouse. Um, if I had a guess, it's probably around the 140 range. Um, so that's what we'll be tying up today. Okay, so to start off here. We're going to start wrapping by the head, and we're just going to wrap down the body, create a nice little base here, thick base so everything has something to grab onto here. And I'll usually work down essentially to where the point of the hook is. Um, once I've reached that point of the hook, I'll trim off my excess here, and then I'll work back up here. Now I usually don't go as thick because one thing I do like to do is I add a little uh, head cement here just a little bit along the shank here and you'll see why in a second. Just a little head cement just a little needle here and I'll just run it real light Next thing we'll, we'll go ahead and do here is uh, we'll thread our thread into our egg here. So what I like to use is a uh, bait thread needle here. Grab your bait thread needle, grab your white thread, and your red little bead. And go ahead and thread that little that bead on there. And then go ahead and grab your, your two tag ends here. And, you know, if you have a sewing needle or any other type of needle, it'll work fine. I'll go ahead and I'll just pull that all the way up to the bead. And let your tails hang here. And when your egg's on here, these eggs have a flat spot on them. You want the flat spot to sit down towards the shank of the hook. So essentially when you come through the egg here, you want to come through the base so that the the bead is left on one side and your, your thread is coming out on the other. So we'll go ahead and we'll just push this through here. Like so. Go ahead and pull it all the way through. And what should happen is your bead We'll get left behind here. So I'll pull out a little slack. And then I'm going to pull those tag ends through. So now I'm through. Go ahead and just pull the bead and then pull your, your tag or the rest of the needle and it'll pull those tag ends through. And so what you're left with is your tag ends on one side and your bead on the other. 
and then go ahead and pull the slack out here and that bead will be in the in the cluster there so at this point here I'll come in I'll I'll pick a place where I want it and I, I don't want it hanging past the end of the hook here I kind of want it where the end of the the cluster here will be at the end of the hook here and so I'll lay it down where I want it and we'll go ahead and we'll just go around twice and secure that and then what I'll do with this excess is I'll actually pull it back and wrap around both of them there so we're just going to wrap all the way back down this line here and you'll see when you get towards the end I'm going to come in trim off this excess here when you get down towards the end of this line the closer you get to that cluster you're going to notice that the as you're winding it down that thread will actually pull close to that shank and it'll almost want to stay on it by itself and then I'll work back up here and you get that so it's just going to kind of hang freely there and we'll work on to the next one next spot is going to be uh, adding the, the rabbit fur here so I like to come in just pull a little bit back take some of that, that thickness off right there just so I can get a good good grab on the the leather there. We're going to come in right on the side. So I'll work back down. And you can kind of see too the, the natural curve of the, the rabbit fur and it's naturally wanting to go this way. And that's the direction we want it to go is back. So we're going to tie it in at such an angle that that fur is going to naturally want to curve to the back there. Just try to pick up a little piece of that. And so at this next point, I'll just throw a little whip finish in here so this doesn't go anywhere. And if you have a, a rotary vise, this makes it real nice. If not, um, essentially you're just going to grab it and you'll have to hand wrap it. But since we are using a rotary vise today, I'm going to use that. So now, we're just going to work the vise with the fur. And make sure you want to try to keep pulling this back as you're wrapping so that 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 fur is naturally going back towards that jig or that uh, egg cluster there so of course this is all going to be in proportion to if you were doing a uh, say like a sixteenth ounce jig or something you probably be using a smaller egg cluster and less wraps um, since this is a quarter ounce and maybe targeting so maybe a little bigger just a bigger profile we're going to be adding a little bit more uh, material to it so at the very end here I'm going to come around make sure that I don't have any open gaps and I'll just come around and just kind of work the thread in there so we're not picking up extra material and once you get around you come back and secure that I like to go back and forth around that and once you have it pretty well secured into place I'll come in and trim off the excess leather here pull the extra back and we're going to try to grab that piece of leather and work it down and really secure it in there nice and tight 
Get a nice little head going. Make sure the eggs are all worked back. At this point, I'll, I prefer a whip finish tool here. I do about seven. Um, if you're not going to be using head cement, you know, you can do 10, 10, 12, and you'd be all right. Um, since I am going to be using some head cement on the thread to finish it off, um, you really don't need to do too many. And I'll come in and finish it off with a little head cement here. Little bit goes a long way on this. Come back through. Make sure I got everything trimmed up nice and neat how I want it. Just kind of flowing right. As you can see, that, that cluster hangs real nice under there, and you know this nice black rabbit fur creating almost like a coat around it. So that's how we tie up our uh, our egg jigs.